Hello, this is a reading for the Divine Feminine Twin Flame. Let's see what's going on for the Divine Feminine Twin Flame. This could be Divine Partnership, Soul Connection, or if, if you're just guided to my channel. So let's see what's going on, Divine Feminine. So we have a lot of swords coming in. We have the Six of Swords. Which is um, which is about moving from choppy waters to calmer waters, moving from a situation that no longer serves you. Okay, moving towards the Page of Cups. So this is an idea, uh, a communicating your idea. Okay, um, so I feel like Divine Feminine, you know, you're you're leaving a situation with the Ten of Swords that were, was a negative situation. Okay. Um, this situation led you to communicate to wanting to communicate um, your truth I'm going to pull some clarifiers for the six of swords yeah, I really feel like the Divine Feminine, you know, you could be running away from something. Um, something that you found that didn't serve you, okay? Um, so you have the King of Wands showing up here as in your challenging position. And the King of Wands is about um, a Divine Masculine. This could be your twin flame. This could be your connection to your divine masculine. And this is in your challenging position. So, for some, this is, you know, running away from I want to say, let me pull a clarifier for it. The six of, what do you mean by the six of swords? So this is a moving towards the truth, you know, running away from this negative thing, from something negative. We have um, movement with the six of, I mean, the eight of wands, Cupid's arrows. Um, so you're moving towards truth. You're taking your awareness with you. You see her. She's in this little boat. She's taking her six swords with her, her awareness, and moving from a situation that no longer serves her, okay? And she's moving towards the truth. She's moving towards, um, and this could be like judgment because this sword is about judgment and truth. And she, she wants to be, um, in the state of truth, especially with the page of swords here. This is an idea that she wants to start. Um, she wants to communicate. A lot of communication here with the swords and in the mind. Um, so what do you mean by the page of swords? A new beginning. She wants to communicate a new beginning. Um, she wants to have a, a more groundedness, more, I want to say, more um, sternness within herself um, or it could be with the divine masculine here some uh, some more truth she wants truth but what is this ten of swords here so this is leaving something so this is what's helping her you know she's on this journey um, divine feminine she, she's you know steadily you know she's walking away from something 
she's walk, walking away from these emotions here. These cups are about emotions that, you know, um, they want to fulfill to her. And perhaps she's looking on, you know, moving on from that. They don't serve her anymore. She's moving away from it. She's moving away in truth, okay? And with this Ace of Wands here, it's like she wants to communicate this this new beginning that's, that's growing on her. You know, this is about a new start. Um, so we have the Divine Masculine. Um, this is an energy of, you know, starting something new. This is Entrepreneur with the King of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands here. So this is about taking action. This is in a challenging position. Taking action with the King of Wands, which is the Divine Masculine, okay? So, uh, so we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Will of Fortune. So this is um, a shift and a new start that is being offered to the Divine Feminine from the universe and the outcome. So Divine Feminine, I feel that she's had to stand up to some people with the um, Seven of, of Wands here. She's, she took action and um, spoke, <clears throat> probably spoke her truth. Okay. Um, so this was an energy um, that is in her current energy. You know, this is traveling and moving, moving away from all the chaos. She's moving to this idea that she has that is... A passion, a desire to start something new. Um, so the moon card was also in the Divine Masculine's reading in the same position. So this is facing her fears with a new idea that she has with the moon card. So um, Divine Feminine, she's letting something go with the Ten of Swords. She's letting something go. She's walking away from something. She's walking away from something. Um, I feel like Divine Feminine, she's walking away from, um, you know, these, these wands down here, these people, you know, that are trying to knock her, knock her down. She's walking away from that. She's not listening to the negativity. She's moving forward into um, this groundedness, into this Ten of Pentacles, into this, um, the Ten is a completion, this feeling of being completed, this feeling of groundedness with the Ten of Pentacles, and happiness, okay? Um, so in her challenging position, she has the Page of Wands with the King of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. So this is opening up to her emotions, um, recognizing her emotions, seeing what they are, and taking action into that. And, you know, this is about recognizing your emotions with the King of Cups. I mean, the Queen of Cups with the Page of Wands. This is seeing your emotions and really respecting yourself, Divine Feminine. And um, so this is in your challenging position. Um, so this is about, you know, respecting yourself. And um, I feel that this is something that you desire to, to start. Whether it's, you know, seeing your shadow side or this has to do with, you know, the Divine Masculine here. Knowing that, knowing who your Divine Masculine is, but this is also about um, 
you know, working on yourself. So we have the King of Wands again. Um, so this King of Wands has showed up twice in this reading. Um, so this is a shift, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. And this shift is divine timing. It's a change. Um, you have no control over it. And it's offering you a new start a new beginning with the King of Wands and this new start, this new beginning is with your Divine Masculine this is um, he's showing up as the King of Wands here which is a fire sign Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo so I just wanted to pull from here I wanted to pull um, a clarifier. Ooh, okay, so that just popped out. The Nine of Pentacles. So this is almost a completion of self-work. You know, healing yourself within Divine Feminine. And, um, you know, learning and taking your awareness. And moving away from the negativity and the conflict and chaos. Um... So this is um, the Ten of Wands. This is an ending to feeling a heavy burden on your back. Okay. Um, it's almost like, you know, you want to put it down. You're sick of carrying this heavy load. It's a heavy burden. Um, this is an ending to feeling like this. Okay. So don't worry. Because there's new starts coming in. There's an Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles here, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. But we have some truth being spoken here with with you, Divine Feminine. Some truth, um, you know, standing up for yourself and moving away from 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 the negative aspects that you know you were having to deal with. Okay. Can I get an overall energy? Ugh. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups. We have um, a spiritual connection, you know, um, a spiritual connection, a healing connection. We have the Three of Pentacles, which is wanting to start something new, a new career, which is this. Um, twin flame journey okay this is a new start being creative and moving right on into it with the chariot this is a fast paced energy this is moving right on into it something that you really enjoy something that you like um, something that makes you very happy and excited this would be the two of cups coming in okay so let's get an advice card for the divine feminine What's the advice for the Divine Feminine? Higher power. So this is number four. And the Divine Masculine had... Um, No, that wasn't the Divine Masculine. That was the Union. It was number 22. It was blessed. And it's almost like the same energy. And this is for... So that's a synchronicity to me. So this is a higher power. Let me read that to you.
essential meanings, conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. The Oracle's message. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then go out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Relationship message. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship and your higher power. Called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Okay, Divine Feminine. Okay, thank you. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful week. And um, please comment, like, and share. And thank you.